The Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, as we head into the afternoon hours here on our Friday, Junior, the weather is not going to be one thing that we can complain about because it's going to be absolutely perfect out there today. The only thing that would be a little bit better is if we could get some more rainfall here in the South Plains because we all know we desperately need it. But as we take a look at radar right now, what you can see a few clouds showing up on satellite, still a few areas of light sprinkles here in southwestern Hockley County, moving in towards Yoakum County, even to the north and west of Seminole. Still seeing a few of those showers, even a few now back towards Paducah, up towards Childress and even Guthrie. You're seeing some more of those clouds and rainfall there, but notice across the region. Really, that's about it. Not looking like we're going to see a lot of rain across the region today. Now in Lovington, a nice start to our afternoon hours. You can see the flag flying in the wind just a bit. Wind speeds today around 10 to 15 miles per hour can be expected. Now as we head throughout the remainder of the day, those showers coming to an end. This model overdoing it a little bit, honestly, but later on today we'll see more sunshine come out across the area and highs not too shabby, only topping out in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Notice a high around 81 in Lubbock, 79 in Silverton, and 82 in Spur. So high pressure will begin to move back in with us as we head in towards your weekend and early next week. That's going to kind of help temperatures warm up somewhat, but we're also going to watch another feature, this one to the south, popping up that could be a tropical system and believe it or not, could actually help to heat our temperatures up a little bit. So our eyes now are focused on major hurricane Teddy. This is a category three hurricane out in the central Atlantic. It is expected to make landfall right here is Bermuda sometime early next week as a category two storm. And all of our eyes have been focused on Sally the past couple of days, but really Sally is starting to weaken as a tropical depression now, but watching this system in the Gulf that could actually warm us up a little bit next week. But we do have some video to show you still of some of the devastation down from Sally. Uh, this is near Gulf Shores, Alabama, where the category two hurricane actually made a landfall early yesterday morning, but you can see quite a bit of widespread damage. The folks, they're still cleaning up. That's why what we're seeing in the tropics, we got to keep a very close eye on it, but that's not the only disaster our country is seeing right now. Out west, we've been dealing with the wildfires for quite some time, and we're still dealing with those. Take a look at some of this video right here. This is coming in about 200 miles to the east of San Francisco. That's where they've been battling the blazes. A special thanks to all of the first responders and the firefighters out there. We even have some from Lubbock Fire and Rescue that have been sent out that way. Just thankful for the sacrifices they're making to help keep everyone safe out there and definitely keeping them in our thoughts and prayers. But those wildfires actually are going to affect us as well. Notice we still have a lot of active wildfires out west, unfortunately, and it doesn't look like those will come to an end anytime soon, but they are producing a lot of smoke up in the air and the jet stream has been rather benign, rather calm for our area, but it looks like we will start to see some of that smoke filter back in, especially tomorrow. You'll notice that haze in the sky a little bit more, and it looks like that will stick with us through the weekend as well. So if you're an allergy sufferer like myself, you may have a few more sniffles or sneezes over the next couple of days. But as we take a look at the eight to 14 day outlook, as we get into the first few Full weeks of fall. It looks like those temperatures will return to above average levels, unfortunately, Kathleen. But let's just focus on the cooler stuff for now. Now through the weekend, it's going to be absolutely perfect. I know we were talking earlier about you guys possibly going up to Aldo Farms this weekend, going to the uh, corn maze. It's going to be perfect weather for that. But then next week, that's whenever we'll start to see that warm up. And we are going to keep a very close eye in the Gulf as that new tropical storm could move up near the coast because from South Texas over to the Florida Peninsula, they've just been hammered really hard this year. Yeah, it has been a rough hurricane season for them on the coast, but you know what? We're going to at least pretend like it feels like fall this weekend because it's going to be uh, way too hot <laughs> to do that next week. Yeah, it, it looks like it'll be pretty warm for sure. <laughs>